Good morning everyone. Today we're going to present to you our new brand called Universal, where we bring the universe to you. Our team comprises of Susan Rand, the researcher, Matilda Alexandis, our art director, myself Norman Petal, the videographer, and finally Niroj Lama, a web designer. Firstly, it is a brand which requires you to have a virtual reality device where you will be imported into your virtual shopping center as yourself. No one yet has made this available as games make you create avatars. But we want you to have an extraordinary experience as if you're in your real shopping center with extra adjustments. We'll get to that in a minute. As you transfer into the virtual world, you're able to interact with people from different countries and uh, this is actually accessible to the world. We want you to experience shopping on a new level as you have never done before without actually leaving your place. We will have a huge market share, but still will make it a convenience price for the benefit of the public. We will let people interact as much as they want and get to know each other. And lastly, it is very time efficient. No need to rush or getting into long queues anymore. This is what we came up with the, to understand the problem. COVID-19 has made an impact on everyone this year. And this is one of the reasons we came up with Universal in the first place. Shopping centers have, ha have been affected due to the fast growing virus and we do not want people to get too crowded in the malls. Secondly, as I mentioned earlier on, we will have an extra adjustment for introverts and elderly or handicapped people. Firstly, introverts do not want to talk to many people at a time. They want to get to do their things without long interactions. Thus, we will provide a setting to make them interact with whom they want to so as to eliminate cyberbullying. Secondly, elderly or handicapped people may be able to walk with the help of the VR in Universal. They will have the experience as everyone else and people will not look at them differently. Another thing is, we thought thoroughly, is that there is a decline in supermarkets since COVID-19 and it has affected a lot of supermarkets in the long term. Universal aims to revitalize shopping. Most people want to shop without going to the shopping center and Universal is the perfect middle ground. It offers all the same benefits with a few added extras without forcing users out of their comfort zones. We also aim to be the stepping stone between brick and mortar shopping centers and the world of online shopping to create a more enjoyable experience for all. Universal's target audience is any person aged 16 years and older, especially helpful to elderly, disabled, antisocial and those in quarantine. Universal would also be of special interest to any person who enjoyed Our World, Club Penguin, Neopets and The Sims. Avatar games have been steadily popular with The Sims being a prime example with 10 million active monthly users and Neopets still has 1.5 million active monthly users. Avatar games have remained popular as it allows users to build a world which they crave in reality. Our world's target audience was teens and tweens, so a platform like Universal has the ability to be the next big thing for users of these platforms. The history of virtual reality begins in 1838 with the first purchasable piece of virtual reality gear being released in the 1990s. The market boasted 171 million active users in 2018. The figures below highlight the ability for growth in the VR market as the 2020 market size is estimated at 18.8 .8 billion US dollars with a forecast spend by consumers of 7 billion US dollars. E-commerce in Australia is a popular option and the graph below shows how consumers are choosing to shop internationally. Unlike online shopping, Universal helps customers avoid fraud and product inconsistencies because unlike ordinary online shopping, customers are able to realistically see and feel their purchases. Transaction difficulties are minimized as vendors can communicate and resolve any issues with consumers in real time. The concept of Universal gives us the unique opportunity to partner with companies in ways that online shopping could not. Their partnership with us could help save their physical stores and help make the experience more comfortable for consumers which could boost revenue. Partnering with companies will create a coherence between reality and Universal to the benefit of the customers. 
Universal would also benefit from partnering with a company such as Sony, who creates virtual reality gear. Universal will create a demand for more VR gear, and a partnership with a company like Sony will allow us to offer competitive pricing for our users in all price ranges. Introducing a prototype, uh, your Universal website. Designer and developer Niroz Lama, platform PC, software that I have used, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, XD. I use Illustrator for creating graphics and tools for design, and for Photoshop, FX and editing, and for Adobe XD, I use for developing a prototype. Since the last updated version of this protocol, I tested the normal paper sketches into police interfaces and finished linking using normal tab trigger transition on web size of 1920 by 1080px. And also I attempted to make more functional by navigating the flow of UX on Arab XD. On this slide, I'm showing some graphics and tools that I had created on Adobe Illustrator for making a prototype. How does this prototype work? On this prototype, there are five different pages which are linked with UX icon. On the home page, there are four UX functions available. Number one, login UX. It takes you to the login page if you have an account already. Number two, sign up UX. It takes you to the sign up page to create a new account. Number three features. It shows the full detail of the website features and concepts. On this page, I added a sign up UX as well for new users trying to create an account after knowing the features provided. Four, enter as a guest on Earth UX. This UX takes you to the lobby where numerous other users are waiting to enter mall with friends and family or trying to make a new friends and circles. Through this lobby, they can enter the particular VR shopping mall destination. On this slide, there's a complete overview of the prototype structure. As shown in the figure, there's an information um, how data are linked together. As we can see, there's a flow of UX on prototype. For the usability testing, this prototype can be a total game-changing experience in today's gadget world for every type of user like young and old. The requirement for full functionality for this website are a data collection system, eye-catching functional animation on design, UX and UI particularly, tracking and analytics, marketing, tech requirement example wave hosting, web search platform, coding, business rules, and good administration. Coming up with an idea was a challenge as the group's project changed direction drastically several times. It began with a fundraising app, then a synthesizer simulator. The former was too vague, the latter was imaginative but seemed to lack any useful purpose. Then there was the idea for virtual queuing app, which in turn morphed into a party planning app. Arising from these ideas came the group's final idea, a VR-based shopping mall experience. The idea of mixing an everyday activity such as shopping into an interactive, almost game-like structure holds a great deal of potential and gives a new 21st century spin to a quotidian activity. Using games like The Sims and Habbo Hotel as examples to follow, we wanted to emphasize the social element of the app, where users could interact with each other and take part in a range of activities within the immersive setting. The user can shop, simply sit and relax, socialize, eat, drink, play, and people watch as long or as briefly as they choose in a safe environment. Also worth considering is the sustainable element of the VR mall. People won't have to drive or catch public transport in order to be involved, and uses of plastic and other kinds of waste are also completely eliminated. Users can choose how they look and alter the settings to their choosing, such as the music and the mall's physical appearance. In doing so, 
the user can shop in an environment created according to their own aesthetic specifications. As mentioned previously, because of the strong interactive dimension, users are encouraged to enter competitions, play games and join in on other activities within the mall setting. Depending on how much the user decides to spend, there are different levels that unlock perks such as gold, diamond, platinum and platinum pro. Stock updates in real time and at the click of a button, the user is able to see what items are trending, not only among their immediate circle of users, but from users around the world. Because the user has such a vast range of information at their fingertips, they can shop smarter and know what items are popular and selling. Overall, the app is a warm and inviting place for all. Visually, it's light, bright and filled with every modern convenience. Issues pertaining to mobility, transport or the weather vanish when the user puts their headset on.